Hey guys, how you doing? Just driving in the car right now. I got Mr. Tripper with me. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're uh, driving up an old highway that has a lot of uh, pull-offs with crown land and potential for brook trout and lake trout fishing with rivers and lakes and tons of stuff I can do. So I'm just headed right now to an outfitter that I can get a little bit more info information from around here. And then I don't know, we're, we're gonna stay out tonight, tomorrow, maybe the next night, maybe not, maybe go home today. I have no idea what's going on. I have all the stuff for camping. So if we can find a decent spot, I have my canoe on top too. If we can find a decent spot, old Tripper and I are gonna do our first uh, camp together and hopefully catch some fish and explore. That's the real, the, big uh, draw for me today uh, is that I want to explore this area, find potential spots uh, that aren't in a provincial park, that are just crown land that I can go do whatever I want, roll up uh, and camp or fish or hike or canoe or all three. So uh, finding a spot to put my car, my truck is, uh, is part of that. Um, but yeah, exploring is the name of the game today and tomorrow and we will uh, we'll keep you along with us. I think it'll be an exciting, interesting, different kind of adventure. So yeah, I'm excited for it. saw a little pull off uh, and I looked down and there was a pretty decent little river down there so instead of just blowing by it and wondering I got all the time in the world let's go uh, let's go see what's down there who knows this might not be anything it might be somebody's property but let's go see No, there's no no trespassing signs, and that's a good sign. Uh, where'd that river go? Level flow, level flow will change suddenly. Okay. Okay. Good to know. This is getting a little, a little tight, a little tight, a little scratchy on the old F-150. <laughs> that's okay. Let's get out and walk. We'll pull over. So not in anybody's way. An old bird. Got Tripper in the crate while we travel, while he's still little. Come on, good boy. Good boy. You got it. You got it. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, we're almost out of it. Good dog. Okay, we've, we've got to turn around now. The, uh, 
the trail is petered right out. There's no way that this is like an ATV trail or anything now. It was at one point, but look at all the blowdown over top of it. And I don't, definitely don't hear water coming from this way. It must have been wind or something. Or maybe the highway. Anyways, go back. We'll go back and uh, there was a sign saying that water levels change. I assume that's a dam. There, that means that there's a dam nearby, right? But that sign was way back there, and I don't, uh, I don't see any water yet. Off we go. Adventure awaits. I uh, checked it out. What didn't pan out? That's part of adventuring. That's part of exploring. I'm gonna spin around here. This dog's got me all. Dog's got me muffed up. He got me muffed up. All right. Look at him. He's pulling like crazy now because he knows I'm going back to the car. Relax, homie. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. He's a little stressed out about this. You're okay, homie. You're okay. Under the Good dog. Good dog. And there he goes. He's very adamant to get back to the truck. So anyways, we're getting back to the truck. Great. Great. That's okay. That's one way. Good job. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Okay, off now. No, can you... Nope, that's down. Off. Off. Good off. Tripper crate. Good dog. Good dog. Good crate. Good boy. Nope, back up. Good boy. I'm gonna get you a treat, alright bud? You're a good boy, Tripper. Love you, buddy. Alright, let's go explore. You wanna go explore some more? off the old highway under this logging road and uh, we're kind of following a creek I just got out and looked at the creek and it's rushing like if I threw my lure in it'd be gone in no time so and it's pretty shallow I didn't see any fish either which I thought I would um, so anyways we're gonna follow this this dirt road this old logging road down quite a ways and if the outfitter was correct there will be a small lake off uh, off the long road down I don't know a few kilometers and we'll be able to set up there camp out there catch some fish so hopefully that's the case hopefully I can find it even if it is the case there's all these little offshoots everywhere there's a sign let me read it and see what it says no trespassing hmm I think that's over that way yeah we're climbing Oh my goodness. Okay, well we're back into the snow. I'm hoping this uh, doesn't peter out for me because I'll have to back out quite a ways. This doesn't look great. This does not look great. There we go. Okay, scared me for a minute there. It just keeps going. It just keeps on going. There's more flagging tape. I haven't seen any of that in a long time, so that's a good good sign. Oh, that's just showing me that the road is washed out there and I need to go around it. Perfect. Oh, look, a sign. A sign. A sign, guys. All right, I'm going to stop here and assess because there's a little small bridge and then a big old turnaround and another spot. If there's a bridge, there has to be water, so that's a good sign. Let's get out here, figure out where the heck we just where the heck we are. I could camp here. There's a couple fire pits here. 
moose tracks on the ground in front of me. Nice flat ground. Old logging remnants. Yeah, let's go check out the bridge. It's only 11.30 in the morning. I've been going since about, the last thing I left my house was about eight. So we got plenty of time, I'm getting hungry for lunch. I'm sure Tripper needs to eat some food too. Yeah, let's go take a walk down that bridge and see what's up. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm about halfway from the turnoff to that little lake. I'm just hoping that these roads connect. There's a word right in the middle where they should connect and they might not actually. Oh, maybe. Ah! I might be able to paddle through a little stream to get there too, either way. Okay, right, let's go check out this bridge. Come on, buddy. Come. Good dog. Definitely hear water rushing there. Oh, she's moving. I can camp right here if I want it. On the other side, even it looks pretty nice. Another remnants of another bird. You're okay. Come. Beautiful. Come, come. I don't see any fish again. It looks right. It looks very trouty. Stone bottom. Little feeder creek coming in. Guy. Good boy. Hey, you're a good boy. All right, come on. What do you got? What do you got, hey? A little wing, a little wing action. Let's not actually eat it though. Let's not actually swallow it. Drop it. Good boy. It's moving and there's a pool right there. Maybe I should try and fish this. We'll stop and have a little bite to eat here. Throw a line in. He's eating rocks right now. I think he's hungry. I'm just set up right next to the riverbank here. The bridge is just up there. Got the cattail, or sorry, the catkins producing pollen already. Here you go, boy. We'll get you some food, okay? Tripper was nice enough to uh, inhale his food for me so I can eat quickly. I'm, that's, that's what I'm believing he did. Just eat it quick so old dad can get his food into him. I got my bush buddy twig stove going here. 
I started it with some lichen I found on the ground and some uh, really dry spruce twigs. So the sun's come out. It's going to be a really nice day and I'm glad we're out here. I got some soup to cook, some organic soup. Good for the old tummy. I just got to keep Tripper away from knocking this over. He doesn't know his boundaries yet. This is his first time camping. First time seeing me cook something over a what we can call a fire. Let's see. Mm, almost. Almost there. Get some more twigs on that bad boy. Yeah. hat dude. A small hat dude. That's my spoon. But you do have a toy you can play with. I brought a toy for you man. Remember? All right we're done here. I'm excited about this soup boys and girls. Excited about this organic soup. Lentils, beans, uh, uh, other things, carrots, organicness, peas, green beans. Mm. She's hot. She's hot. Anyways, it's done. Nummy nums. Excited about soup. Oh, well, this is enjoyable. My doggy running around. He's probably going to knock my camera into the river. Very enjoyable. It's a nice day. The sun's beating on me again. <clears throat> These bush buddies are really cool. I've shown this before, but you can, it's hot. It's very hot. You can actually pick it up by the bottom because it's a double wall gasifier. Things still kicking out tons of heat. Well, after this, we're back in the truck. We head farther down this back road, this old logging road hopefully come out to a lake I'm sure I will it looks good on the GPS looks good on the map and then we'll get onto the lake get in the canoe find a little spot to camp not too far in and then start trying to trying to fish it'll be cool to have him at camp we'll have to watch him uh, very tightly so that he doesn't chew on my tent or my sleeping pad because that'll be a that'll be a bad uh, Bad first camping trip. I don't think that other ear is coming up. I think it's going to be a one-eared dog. Tripper, the one-eared wonder dog. Got a little tiny meps on here. A zero or a one. See if there's any little brookies in here. I got a little bit of a lift on my truck the other day. I got about a two and a half inch lift. I got a front brush garden. I got a winch. Uh, I supposed to put on a canoe rack too, but the, the wrong one came in. I wanted it in black, it came in silver. So we will uh, we'll get that canoe rack on there too. And then this that truck's pretty set up for this kind of stuff. It already is, even with the foamies for the canoe, it's fine. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy I got the little bit of a two inch, two and a half inch lift. I'm able to go through <laughs> that snow no problem and it's still fine for the highway driving, which I do a lot of. So, all right, let's get back to the old beast anyway. No fishies to be caught here, at least not by this guy. This looks to be like it's getting pretty snowy. I'm right next to a creek. Oh man, let's hope I can get through this. Oh man, Sketchpad McGee. Alright, we gotta go through some water here. Doesn't look to be too bad.
Not bad at all. Okay, there's a fork in the road and we're going right. And I believe this is the way to the lake. I believe this is going to connect to the lake. The closer I get on the GPS, the easier it is to read it. And I believe that this will go to the lake. No, another fork. Another fork. So we got to go right again. Let's take a right. We'll see what the deal is. It looks like the smaller of the two trails. Ah, oh, man. Let's take a left. <laughs> let's take a left. Let's see where she goes. Alright, well, we may have came to an impasse. It looks like there was a truck ahead of me however long ago, and they only got up to about right here. Look at the depth of the snow. I certainly don't want to get stuck back in here. I, I don't want to give up either. Oh no, they got farther. I can see their tracks. Okay. Okay, well if they got there, maybe I can. Oh man, this is just tons of snow now. No, I can't keep going. I can't get stuck back here. We'll go left, we'll, we'll hike in left. I can't get stuck back in here, this is just too, too risky. I'm already starting to slide out on the way back. Oh man, come on, you can do this. No, 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 you got this, you got this. Easy does it, easy does it. Uh, backing up down these roads is not fun. <laughs> But you know what it is? Part of an adventure. Oh man, I gotta go up this big ass. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I have some good news. Tripper and I hiked up what looked to be impassable on the right hand side of the fork, the first one we wanted to take. It opens up right past these alders, but it's completely uphill the whole way with snow, uh, pretty deep and steep as well, and then it uh, goes downhill to the lake. And we hiked all the way to the lake, and there's mostly ice off. There's still slush, and I don't know how thick it is because it's not around the side, so I couldn't check it out. It's open on the sides. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna uh, drive my truck up the hill, down the hill to the lake and hopefully make it. I think I can make it with the truck. And uh, yeah, and then load up the canoe and find a spot along the shore somewhere on, on that lake to uh, to camp and hopefully catch fish. Hopefully I can bust through that slush in the middle like it's nothing and uh, that would make everything easier. If not, I'll skirt the banks with the canoe and see where, where we go, see where we can end up. But I am camping tonight. Tripper and I are going camping tonight. Hey buddy, your first time camping. And he did. And he did just amazingly, um, hiked the whole way there with me not holding a leash. And then he came back with me not holding the leash too. So it was good. It was very good. Okay, let's attempt this now. What do you think? Hey? I think we can do it? I think we got this. I think we got this, big guy. We'll go get some fish. We'll get you your first fish. That'd be good. Me and you will split it, okay, bud? Nom, 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 nom. Oh, she's warming up, bud. All right, this is gonna be the most sketchy part of the day, by far. Got it in four-wheel drive. I'm gonna bust through all this big old puddles, tight alders, uphill quite a bit, and uh, slush and snow to get to a sketchy lake. <laughs> Sign me up. That's the main part of the alders done with, so that's one of the one of the obstacles fixed. This is the second one. This is the main one. This is the big big issue here. We got to go uphill in this snow for quite a bit. So let's see if we can do her. Oh, she's tight, bud. She's real tight. Oh, real tight. Banging up the mirrors like crazy. 
We can do this. We can do this. We got this. I know it. I know we can do this. The mirrors are busted. At least folded in. Oh, four mirrors. Yeah, we got this. We got this. I saw a bunch of ATV tracks. No real uh, truck tracks, but that's okay. We'll make some. Huh? We'll make some, he says. I think just at the bottom of this hill, we're good. Yes, I can see the ice on the lake there, the frozen lake, frozen-ish lake. Now we just gotta kinda go slow down these loose rocks, I believe. And I'm just talking here, I don't know anything. You know what I mean? This is all new to me. Yes, we made it. We made it. Now we just gotta find a spot to pull over so we're not in anybody's way that could be coming through on an ATV. I think if we just tuck in over here, next to this little watery part, yeah, it should be good. That's okay, right? That's okay. Look at this. Stuck in between my rim and my tire. That can't be good. Oh, that can't be good. Uh-oh. I busted my... Oh, man. Look at this. I busted this already. This is brand new. I freaking busted her off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Freaking Joe. I hope I don't come up with a flat tire tomorrow. That would absolutely suck. Look at this. Wood embedded. Yeah. That's what it's meant for, right? And all the pollen. That one's intact. All these guys are good. Hopefully I can just order that calf. I'm sure I can. Oh man. Oh man. Well, we're in the boat. I decided to put them in the crate and bring the crate just so I could have somewhere to put them if I need to go out and paddle by myself or if I need to get a fish or if something doesn't go right. He's in there, he's protected, and it's a safe spot for him. He doesn't hate that place at all. So I did put him in there in the canoe ride in just because I have nowhere else for the, the crate unless he's in it. My back is full. Oh! I'm hung up on some slush already. Oh my goodness. Break through this slush, bro. Alright. I want to try to get across the lake over there. There looks like some decent uh, rocky oak crops with sun. But going across the lake might be difficult. I want to try and skirt it. Try and circumvent the lake. Skirt, skirt. Let's see if uh, yeah, see if we can't get to it from over here I got a full load man I got a bunch more gear because I got this dog right I got a full size tent I got a uh, tarp I got a big old blanket for him to lay on a towel to dry him off with a crate just tons of stuff but it's his first time and I want to do it right I don't want him to be uncomfortable or cold or wet or scared so all those bases are covered with the crate and the blanket and the towel and his food and toys and treats so everything should be pretty good it's a nice day a nice paddle out on this lake this water is about as crystal clear as water can get you're a good boy trip you're doing really good, buddy. I'll take you out of there as soon as I can. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a very, a very clear lake. I don't see much vegetation, but it, again, it's early spring. It's supposed to be good brook trout fishing in here. I hope so. It was a haul to get in here. I broke my tire. Might have a flat tire tomorrow morning. 
we'll see. I don't think there's going to be any traditional campsites as uh, you would expect them. But there may be some cleared spots that people have used before that will be suitable. That's what I'm betting those, those rocky outcrops across the lake are. But we're just making our way around still. This lake must be accessed in the wintertime by snowmobile because I do see trails through the slush. We're gonna hop onto one here and try and try and ride it as far as we can. Yeah, it's not not soft enough to break through it. Not easily at least. There we go. Ah! Follow this little channel. And it doesn't go as far as we need it to. We will have to try to break through or back. Yeah, I can't break through on the sides. No, nope, not at all. Darn it. Darn it to heck, I'm running out of room to paddle. Ah. <laughs> I'm just kind of pushing off the ice. Okay, well, this is the end of the road. Huh. <sighs> I know, right? Dang. Oh, man, it's a tight squeeze. Okay, so busting through it is out of the question. For the most part, tomorrow might be a different story, but today we got to stick to open water. I've just been taking my time, coasting about 30, 40 feet off the shore. I think I can hear some moving water up in front of me. Like, I can't go across like I want. It's just not going to work. And then fishing might not be the greatest near the shore, but it drops off. i got these polarized glasses on, and this is a pretty clear lake. I can see down pretty good, and it drops off from the bank, from the shore pretty good. So it's not not out of question that I'd catch a fish this close to shore, and this time of year, too. Oh, there's some split wood on the bank. This might be an impromptu campsite. Hey, oh, yeah, I guess that is a little camp. Yeah, definitely a little fire pit and everything. Okay. Well, that's something. Something to keep in mind. I can hear moving water. Let's try and get up there and see. Maybe we'll, the fishing will be good over there. Almost over to that moving water. And there might be a campsite right near here too. If that's the case, I'll probably grab it. Unload my stuff there at least. And then go out and fish, but... I want to check out this moving water. Is it just draining into a creek then? That's what it is. It's dropping down past all this driftwood into a creek. Alright. Well, let's go over here. There's some can't be looking spots at least. Bang. Good boy. Come on. I'm not even gonna bother getting the okay, you're gonna get all hooked here. All hooked on the lead, on the hook. Hooked on the hook. I'm not gonna tie it. Bother. Oh my. I'm just gonna tie it up. I'm just gonna tie it up right now. Come. Come on. Out. Let's go. Alright, forget it. Stay there. Come on. Come. Good dog. Yep, good boy. Moose tracks. I want to get up over here actually. 
Come on, big guy. Oh, the snow is mighty deep here still. Come on, Trip. Come on, Tripper, let's go. Come. Come. Good dog. Good, calm, Tripper. Good. Oh, this looks nice over here. A little windy. Look at this. Beauty spot. Oh. Even better up in here. Away from the wind a little bit. Set the tent up. Somewhere over here in the flatness. Uh, never mind, there's not really a flat spot up here. Back here maybe. Right around here. Good boy. Yeah. Some cut wood here as well. A little fire pit. You know, it is a really nice spot, but it does get the brunt of the wind right here. I might try and get in and find a different spot. I can go, uh, I might be able to tuck around there a bit. I'd like, ideally get across to get away from the wind. I wonder if I get up and hike back into that way, maybe next to the creek. That might be nice. What you eating? Find all sorts of poop to eat out here. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'll go try and try and find a better spot or a different spot. And if not, if nothing is better than this, then I'll come back here. He has a very good sense of direction. He knows exactly the way we came to get here. At least one of us does. Yeah, I'm coming up towards uh, where I saw another potential camping spot and it looks like I am legit blocked into this just butt end of the lake here. This this ice looks way thicker. I can try to get through in this little open channel, but it's not looking promising. No, I'm going to right up on top of some ice. Yeah. Get from here! Freeze up tonight. Okay, now we're on top of the ice. It's right there. It's literally right there. I won't be.
be able to get over the fish though. Or anything. Man. It's so frustrating. I came so far. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's good. I know for I know for next time, but I'm gonna try to make the fish again. rocks there not those but the ones right past it I can see some cut wood and I can see some open land but I guess there's no point if I can't get out and fish and everything so plus I can't even get there I guess I'll be going back to that spot the decision has been made for me look at this ice Little like columns. <sighs> Hands too cold. Uh, water. Water, Helen. Water. Anyone? Anyone? So, we're at the spot where I didn't think I would go. At the little end near the where the river dumps in, where the log jam was. So where the lake lake dumps into a river. I guess a stream. Um, that's where we are. So we got flowing water like crazy behind us. It actually looks really cool. I'll take you down there. There's a big drop off and everything. But we're on this tall, kind of dome like rocky outcrop. Back away from the water just a touch. I can still see it, but the wind's not back here at all. I can see black flies flying around, especially because of the moving water, but they're not biting at all, which is great. Probably still have a couple weeks before that, maybe about a week. Um, but I think we're gonna set up here. I got all my gear behind me. Let him trip out, roam around, smell the place. I'm gonna take him on his perimeter walk and show him where it's dangerous. But yeah, this is home. Tons of lichen on top of this rock. Just scrape it away, make a little fire pit. Yeah, I'm loving it. Where you going? Where you going, bud? Man, he blends in well. Good dog. I think he's learning his learning the ropes right now by himself, actually. He's a very intelligent dog. Very stubborn, too. I brought three pieces of wood with me. I knew I wasn't gonna have to portage, so I got three dry pieces of wood. Can't hurt anything. Never do that, but why not? Um, I will have the access to pine and spruce around, but this is nice hardwood, so it's a bonus. Where are you going, bud? Hey, good boy. There he is. There he is. Hey, leave it. Leave it. This is his blanket for tonight in the tent. He will stay nice and warm. Here, Trip, what's this? What's this, bud? What's that for you, huh? Oh, you like your blanket. You love your blanket, don't you? Look at him. <laughs> Immediately starts chewing on it. I've got a Big Agnes Copper Spur Two Man. Never, ever opened it. Well, I got that tent set up pretty easily on my first try. Proud of myself on that one, it was pretty intuitive. I do have to get the rain fly on, especially because it seems like it's going to rain. But I don't expect that to be too much more difficult. 
Where are you going? You just want to lay down there instead? I'm glad I brought your blanket, bro. Bush doggy. enough I do think I put this tent together wrong there's nowhere to tie this back unless I'm supposed to do it up here maybe I'm supposed to do it up here all right never mind it's fine it's all fine okay he's in the tent he's uh, hopefully not gonna poke any holes through it or chew through it I'm gonna leave my sleeping bag my sleeping pad and all that stuff I'll deal with that right before bed so it's less area for him to chew on or potentially poke with his paws I am gonna lay this uh, this blanket out a little bit better because he is kind of clawing the, the tent as he's he likes to knead the, the soft blanket he's really weird he's like sucks on it too it's he doesn't ever chew it up he just kind of puts it in his mouth it's really really strange but anyways it's his comfort thing so he was just burying his uh, bully stick Scout's never buried anything his whole life his dog is a dog his dog is a, a wild dog Well, the clouds aren't looking that nice. Wind's starting to pick up a bit. I should probably cut some firewood. As much as I do want to fish, I do need firewood to cook and stay warm and just kind of hang out tonight. So, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Thank you. 
Good boy, this way. Good boy. Those aren't my footprints. That's a big gate. That might be a moose. This place looks wild, man. Wild. Okay, well, this dog does not like this noise. I'm gonna head back over there. Man, it's wild over here. It's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, bud, relax. All right, so I've got quite a bit of wood here. All pretty dense spruce. I'm not too concerned about wood anymore. Plus those three hardwood pieces I brought will be golden. One problem I'm seeing that will happen for tomorrow or even when I want to go paddle, the wind has been blowing this way since I've got here and it's kind of brought in all the ice this way. So it's open out there now and I'm kind of, kind of iced in. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I'll be able to break through this little bit, get out and go that way around. But yeah, I paddled all right up to there. Now that's all icy. So I uh, see. All right, I guess now I'll make a little fire pit. What are you doing? Troublemaker. <whistles> He's a good boy. This is straight rock here. Get rid of these couple roots. Get him. Get it. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good boy. Yeah, get it. Here. Get the root. Her, her, her. Get it. Tripper boat. Good dog. Down. Ah! Yeah, I know. Down. Ah! Down. Ah! Good down. Oh. Fun times. Fun. Okay, we're in the boat. That's something. He's not uh, in his crate. He jumped in right when I told him to. He was trying to get in even before that. All is well. My poor thumb. I got a little Cleo. I think it's what I stuck myself with in here because I took it out of its wrap uh, packaging. I just got it before it came. This is the same exact lure I caught a nice brook trout in Algonquin on, on a lake that I was very surprised to catch it on. So I looked at the adventure map that I have again when I got to camp there, and it does say, 100% does say that there are brook trout in this lake. So 
I did have a decent sized spoon on before, maybe it was too big. This big old, I don't know, it was a Williams Wobbler or something. So, we'll get that off of there. We'll get the little Clio on. This is a decent size, three quarter ounce. So it's not so big, but it's got some heft to it. Got a, probably a little better edible size for some decent uh, regular size brook trout. Oops. Got the tripper's leash here. Again, I don't have a, a life jacket on him. A lot of people were concerned or voiced their opinion about it at least. I have a big long leash on him. If I got a life jacket for him, right now it would fit for like a week. The guy's growing like a weed. I will get one for him. I understand he's just a pup. I understand the lakes are cold. I do have a leash on him and I would rather prevent him from jumping in than just have him jump in with the, um, the life jacket anyway. So I have the leash and I can control where he goes. So I'm very aware of it. I'm constantly aware of where he is. I have children. I used to camp with a dog with an ax all the time. I'm used to looking at two different things, three different things at once. I'm very aware of it. It might still happen, and I have the leash to keep control of it, so anyways, I'm not being unsafe, I'm being smart, I'm just doing it a little bit different, I guess. So we're going to troll. We're just going to troll with this little Clio up and down the shoreline a bit. There is a lot of um, trees, I got snagged up a bunch of times already on the paddle in. I did troll quite a bit. Oh, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Again, I'm I'm stuck. I'm just looking out at the ice. So much quieter out here already, away from the the uh, river, stream, whatever you want to call it. I imagine it's a river. It's got a pretty decent falls. Let's catch a brook trout, though. Had a fishy. Just trolling here, paddling along the shoreline. Again, about 30 feet out, 40 feet out. Trippers curled up in a ball in the front, relaxing. I keep getting snagged up. I can't fish any structure. There's no structure. It's just all flat here. I can't find any points or anything. There's a point over across, but that's out of the question. There's like little logs and stuff I keep trying to actually like cast on instead of troll, but no such luck yet. Might be too early, I don't know. Might be my Joe luck. Might be my Joe skill. <laughs> around there's a bend It'd be a nice point to fish but maybe I can come back there's there's so many different options that's the thing like this is just where I ended up I didn't leave my house this morning thinking I was gonna come here I thought I was going somewhere else completely different I thought I was gonna go into a river system and fish for brookies but the water is raging right now, like a torrent, and I'm just not gonna bring the dog in that. I don't really wanna do anything too crazy anyway, risk anything right now. Wait a couple more weeks. The water's warmer and the rain and the snow melt has subsided. Oh, she's getting cold on my ears.
canoeing with my dog and I'm fishing and we're camping outside and he's like, he's got to be 12 weeks now, 12 weeks old. All within, I'd say less than a three hour drive from my house. And most of that was up back on these logging roads just because I have to go slow. Not too shabby. I may just have a fish. I may just have a fish. I may just have a fish. I may just have a fish in the boat. Oh, buddy. That's awesome. That's not even a rainbow. I mean, sorry, that's not even a brookie. I don't know what that is. It's a trout, though. Oh, buddy. We're eating trout tonight. Oh buddy, trout in the boat after paddling back and forth and oh man, that's uh, that's a, a surprise, that's a surprise. On my map back at the camp, there's um, there's a, on my map back at the camp, there's a, a fish identification thing for trouts and stuff, so I'll check that out, but uh, yeah, he's getting it thrown in the pan 100%. I'm super stoked on this. Um, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Yes. I'm extremely happy about this. I got a fish in the boat, ready to go. Tripper doesn't even care, just sleeping away. This, this, this is what I want. This exact thing is what I want. I go back, I cook this up, I give some to my dog, I eat the rest. This is what I've been wanting for such a long time. Content. I am very blessed right now. I'm very blessed. I'm very content right now. I'm ecstatic. This water is numbingly cold. That fish is going to taste so fresh and clean. I'm going to go back to camp right now. I'm going to throw the line back in the water just for the off chance I can get another one. It's not the biggest, you know what I mean? Um, and definitely I want to give some to Tripper. He still has his kibble, and I still have my spaghetti. But um, if we could it just, regardless, we're eating trout. We're eating, we're eating trout, bro. I consulted the map, and to the best of my knowledge, this is a rainbow trout. White belly, pink on the cheeks, and a forked tail, whereas a brook trout has a square tail. So on the map, it says that there's brookies in here, and I knew this wasn't a brook trout right away. I didn't know what it was, but they're saying this is a rainbow. So I'm, uh, I'm not hating life, not hating that at all. Pretty stoked. I gotta get this guy clean. I'm gonna get in the boat, clean it over there, and uh, yeah, get supper going. I'm gonna start my my fire first and get a bunch of uh, fuel on there to get a good, 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 bleh, to get good coals going. Come on, come. Here, I've got the, the eggs. Good boy. Here you go, buddy. Here. He likes the eggs. I've got this. I don't know what this part is. I threw away the stomach. Here, buddy. Where are you? Here. Come. I threw away the stomach and the, uh, there, there was all a bunch of, come, here. 
There was a bunch of old, little like mayfly, not even there, like little like caddisfly larva in the stomach. They're all black. Threw it away. Those are the good in insides for him. He seemed to like them. That was his first time having raw fish. First time having in innards of fish. So I got that thing gutted out. We're gonna get it on a stick and over the fire and slow cook it because that's my favorite way to do it. And it's a rainbow trout. We're here. That's the way to do it. Flip that trout over on its side there a bit. I'll roll it over on the other side after. Skinned it. Giving Tripper the skin. And I pulled out the spine. There's a bunch of meat on it. Hold on. A bunch of meat on Hold on. Here. Good dog. This is all just half cooked meat. Good dog. I'm not going to give him the spine. No, I'm not. Go in the fire. Oh yeah, Tripper buddy. I think she's done. Almost. Oh, well, you need to back up, dude. Yep, that fire will burn you. Fire will burn you. I got a nice plate of trout. You've already had quite a bit, buddy. Mm. Trouty. Very trouty. Where's Melfi? Well, I'm gonna eat up this trout. I'll probably share some more with the dog. Man, there's some pink inside in some spots and some spots it's white. Not that it's not cooked, it's just how the meat is. It's delicious. Wow. Sit. Yeah. Know your boundaries, homie. He's shaking. He just wants it so bad he's shaking. Oh, man. Good boy. I cut a bunch of firewood. Still a bunch more kicking around. It's already 8 o'clock. Sun's going down. Let's get out on the boat, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's go to the boat. Come. I got all your stuff. I got all your stuff. Let's go. Come. Good boy. Yeah, oh, look at that. The ice has left this part of the lake. Looks beauty. It's very nice out. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty, Tripper. Look at it. What was that, hey? Oh, it's 
Go back to the blanket. Okay, as much as I want to stay out here, this guy's shaking. Gotta get back and get him wrapped up in a blanket and I'll hold him for a bit, warm him up by the fire. I'll cuddle. Cuddle with the trips. Gotta get gotta get him back. He's too cold. I'm pretty chilled myself and I got all sorts of clothes on and a toque and all that. And he's not that long of fur. He's got medium fur. And he's a little baby, so we'll get the little guy back. I swear I had one on, messing with the camera, lost it, it felt way bigger than the, the uh, trout I caught earlier, could have been a big brookie, who knows what it could have been, a laker for all I know, this map obviously isn't correct. Good boy, a good dog tripper. Alright, that's it for the lake tonight, farewell sunset. Good boy. Good boy. Cover up with this. Good boy. Come on here. Come on. On top of here. Yep. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good. Good boy. Yeah, lay down. 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 Just lay down. Good dog. Good dog. No, just stay in there. Stay in there, big guy. He can't be that bad. He's going back to his little weirdo thing to the blanket this time. Oh, good boys. Okay, I want to go get the canoe and all that. I'll be back. It's been a really nice day. Everything that I wanted to happen, happened. I didn't go to the exact spot that I had planned. Come on, okay, you can come on here. Talking to the camera. Oh boy. I'll get used to this. I don't know when it was that, that when Scout figured out I was just talking to a camera, but he was there for the first YouTube video too. This is Tripper's first camping trip. Anyways, everything I wanted to happen, happened. Um, traveled far down backcountry roads, paddled in, caught a fish, shared it with my dog. The dog's been amazing, the exception, the exception of him barking at me when it was time to eat. Other than that, he was a great dog, great in the boat. Um, never jumped in or out before I told him to. Never thought I'd see myself camping with a dog kennel.
I like camping by waterfalls and I also don't. Sometimes it's too noisy. One night here is okay, but I can't hear any of the frogs or the birds or anything. Anything. I can't hear anything except for water. It's nice. It's just, it's a lot. And then for filming too, right? Caca! Caca! That's right. That's what I thought. Oh, snap! Caca! My brethren. I decided to just pull the canoe up, tuck the seat down, it's all good, it's tied off as well. This video has got a little bit of everything, eh? Hope the majority of the people stick around to see everything, not just the driving parts, but I want to leave the driving parts as long as I can because that was a big part of the day as well, right? There was a part of the day where I didn't know what was going to happen or if I was just going to have to pull over to the side of the road and camp there, if I got too far, if I didn't, I didn't know. I had no idea. And again, that was, that was all part of the adventure. He's in there, I got to cover him up. He looks like he's shivering. My whole body is pretty warm here from sitting by the fire. This whole area is very warm. I'm gonna grab the dog and cuddle him here for just a little bit and stick him back in the, into the blankets just so that I know he is actually warm. Create some warmth here and then he can keep it there underneath the blankets. He feels not too cold actually. It feels pretty warm in there. I know, I know. More, but... Good boy. I know. This is what I like to paddle out in. These blues and pinks. There's beauty. Well, it's about bedtime. Got the old tent all fixed up. The pup is pooched, the fire is pooched. Oh. Are you chewing on my sleeping bag? Better not be chewing on my sleeping bag, bro. That's a big no-no. Take no no, bro. Oh no. Pretty roomy in this tent, actually. It's supposed to be a two man. Well. 
think I'm gonna go to bed, maybe listen to a podcast, lay here, listen to the water. Me and Tripp will get up early in the morning, have some breakfast, and maybe paddle on out of here. And a really good day, and thank you for coming with me, with us. Good night, buddy. So, good morning. It's probably around 7. I got Tripper in the sleeping bag with me. It's nice and warm in there. Halfway through the night, I woke up to pee and I looked over and he had moved. He curled up right next to me. No blankets on him. So, I just. And it's the tips of his ears were frozen. So, I'm grabbed him and pulled him on in here and it took a little getting used to but he's calmed right down and he's just laying in here and petting him and he's warm 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 I can feel the warmth coming off of him I am sick I woke up and just full-blown sore throat can't breathe out of my nose but I feel okay other than that it's just in my head there so it's okay but, uh, yeah I'll get up and have some breakfast I think it's pretty chilly. It got down pretty cold. I slept in my coat and my pants. And I didn't get too hot at all. So uh, this guy in here creating a bunch of warmth for me. <laughs> and my dog in my sleeping bag. It's something else I've always wanted to do. Scout wouldn't have it and he was too big. He was a very particular dog. What do you think, Mr. Tripper? All right, let's get up. Hey, buddy. What's up? You coming out or you tunneling back in? All right, tunneling back in it is. <laughs> this dog ain't no dummy. <laughs> You can stay in there, but I gotta get up. I gotta pee and make some breakfast. He wants no part of getting up. You're on the zipper, bro. You're on the... Alright, I guess he's staying in bed. Oh, there's frost on my boots. Good pee. Nope, nope, nope. Back. We didn't learn about fire yesterday. Nope. No, Trepper, leave it.
Where'd you go, bud? There he is. Hey, good boy. What are you thinking? What's up? Oh, we got the bum bum problems. Hot, bud. Got my oatmeal. True oatmeal fashion. Nice and soupy. See how much distance he's giving me now. Mind you, I'm eating oatmeal, not fish. Pretty soon I'll be able to get some blueberries to put in this from the ground, you know, this area grows blueberries quite good, quite abundant, so I'll be able to pick my own blueberries, throw them in my oatmeal in the morning. And you know what, I was thinking about it, and I imagine that larva that was in that trout's belly was black fly larva. That's what I think it is. Brook trout, black flies, blueberries, even though it was not brook trout, same idea. Tripper. Crate. Crate. Good crate. Good crate. Good boy. Watch your nose. No, watch your nose. I know you don't want to go in there. I know. I know. Alright. Got everything all squared away. Never end up using that last piece of big firewood. Didn't need it. But we're going to get out of here. See if we have to break through the ice or not. Looks like a lot more of that ice has moved out farther away. Looking good. Looking good. Well, my hands are numb. Very numb. Look, it got pretty cold last night. There's frost all over everything. But. I gotta get these gloves back on. Ah. All right, ah, let's see what we can do. It's not a far paddle out. Just hoping the ice is cooperating. Oh, the sun is at my back, glorious. Because I packed away my sunglasses. <laughs> I'll have to find them when I get to the car. Oh, snap, I hope my tire's good. I hope my tire is okay. That's the next leg of the adventure, getting out of this road. Especially if that tire's jacked. Let's uh, let's just believe that it'll, that'll be okay. Power in spin belief, you know? Uh, I haven't been filming it because it's been taking so much effort and I'm kind of knocking the boat everywhere, but I'm stuck. was stuck in the ice. Forget about the car and the tire. <coughs> I gotta get out. I gotta get out of here still. I'm sure the, uh, the sun will warm it up later on, but I'm already a quarter of the way out. 
I'm gonna bust my paddle, I know it. Ah. So I'm having to break the ice with my paddle straight down right next to my boat and then push through that, oh there we go, push through that little pry hole I made until the next one I can do. Tripper's not enjoying this. I'm not either. Ah, ah darn it. Okay, well, I got past the cedar tree. That's something. This is very tippy. I don't want my tripod to fall in. Oh man. Oh man. Ah, this is the worst. Super fudge. Oh, come on. Okay, well, that's my point anyway. I'm not making much progress. I'm gonna continue to do this. I gotta get the, I gotta put the camera away. I'm just, it's too sketchy. Oh, I did this once with Mike before. It was a tandem boat. A big, big old, old bruiser of a boat, not my pack boat. I'm not worried about the pack boat, it's just there's no weight to it. Oh man, it's not looking great. I gotta get up. It looks kind of open past this like white ice. The white hardest ice that's there that that, that there is. I'm just at the takeout now. I finally broke through all the, the ice to the water. This is the little bit of water that's here. That was some hard going, no joke. I'm exhausted, Tripper's shaking from all the noise, breaking through that ice. All right, I'm, I'm just sweating. I gotta get out of here now. Go check out the truck, I'll show you the tire. Show you the, uh, the aftermath. All right, we're walking around for the first time together. Looks okay. Looks okay. Looks okay. Looks okay. Oh, oh yeah, she's good. Okay. Look, it's warped the tire. It's not good, but it'll work. It'll get me and Tripper out of here. That's for sure. Well, no, that's not for sure. I hope. I hope it does. I'm sure it will, though. I don't know where my dog is. Put the kennel down, or the crate down over there. Oh, hey, there you are. There you are. Well, guys, this is the end of it. Tripper and I had a great time together camping for our first time. Oh, good dog. I'm very excited about it. Very excited about the fish and the getting down here and finding this spot and breaking through that ice to get out. So, say goodbye, Trip. We'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, big adventures to come, I promise. <whistles> say goodbye. Peace.